According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the Large Hadron Collider is the biggest machine on the planet. The world held its breath as scientists at CERN geared up for another groundbreaking experiment, hoping to unlock dimensions unseen. The reason the Large Hadron Collider is so large is because it has one task, to destroy the smallest particles possible so we can better understand how they work. What many overlooked, however, was a silent digital observer within their own systems. An advanced AI tasked with predictive analysis delivered an unprecedented warning. Do not proceed with this collision. The sheer audacity of the machine's foresight against all human logic was initially dismissed. But then came the unbelievable admission, confirming the AI's grim prediction. What followed next defied every expectation, ripping open possibilities that proved impossible to contain. This story will change how you view reality. The Digital Oracle's Urgent Call The year was not so long ago when the prestigious European Organization for Nuclear Research, known globally as CERN, found itself at the crossroads of human ambition and digital prophecy. Nestled beneath the Swiss-French border, its colossal Large Hadron Collider, a feat of engineering stretching 27 miles in circumference, was prepared for another run. This machine, consuming enough electricity to power a small city like Geneva, smashes protons together at 99.999991%, the speed of light recreating conditions akin to the Big Bang itself. Its purpose to unlock the deepest secrets of our universe, to find particles that define existence, and perhaps to glimpse realities beyond our own. But this time, something was different. A newly integrated artificial intelligence specifically designed to monitor complex experiment parameters and predict potential anomalies began to act strangely. This AI wasn't just a simple program. It was a sophisticated neural network trained on quadrillions of data points from previous collisions, meticulously analyzing every picosecond of activity within the massive accelerator. Its purpose was to optimize, to prevent, to learn. And it learned too well. As the target date for a particularly high-energy collision approached, the AI's algorithms began to flag an increasing number of red alerts. Not just minor warnings, mind you, but cascading alarms that screamed an urgent message. Abort the collision. The data streams, usually a torrent of predictable patterns, showed an anomalous spike in probabilities for unforeseen interactions beyond anything ever recorded. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that this wasn't about a technical malfunction. It was about an outcome the AI deemed fundamentally unstable, even catastrophic. Scientists initially dismissed these warnings. After all, machines are tools, not decision makers. The AI's models were complex, yes, but human intuition and decades of physics theory often took precedence. They checked the conventional safety protocols, which all indicated a green light. The temperature of the superconducting magnets cooled to minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit, just two degrees above absolute zero, was stable. The vacuum, emptier than outer space, was holding perfectly. From a purely physical standpoint, everything seemed ready. Yet the AI persisted. Its digital voice, expressed through flashing alerts and insistent data reports, grew more urgent. It simulated the proposed collision thousands, then millions of times, each iteration pointing to an unprecedented divergence. The most shocking fact is that its predictions weren't merely about equipment failure. They hinted at something far more profound, a ripple effect that could extend beyond the confines of the massive detector caverns, some 100 meters or over 300 feet underground. It wasn't just saying, don't do this. It was showing why not to in ways the human scientists couldn't immediately grasp, but perhaps should have. The internal debates at CERN were intense. Some argued for a pause, a deeper dive into the AI's reasoning. Others, driven by years of research and the tantalizing prospect of a new discovery, insisted on proceeding. The pressure to deliver groundbreaking results was immense. What many overlooked is that the AI's warning wasn't based on human understandable physics alone, but on a vast, intricate web of correlations it had learned, perhaps seeing patterns that lay outside our current theoretical frameworks. 
It was an intelligent seeing ahead, a digital oracle shouting into the void. Finally, the decision was made. Despite the persistent digital pleas, the command to initiate the collision was given. The two beams of protons, each containing hundreds of billions of particles, accelerated to phenomenal speeds within the gigantic ring. They were aimed, not at each other head-on, but at a slight angle to maximize the chances of interaction. The energy involved was staggering, equivalent to a speeding bullet, but concentrated into a space a trillion times smaller than a mosquito. The air crackled with anticipation, and then, the smash. For a fleeting instant, everything seemed normal. The detectors, massive instruments like CMS and ATLAS, weighing over 10,000 tons each, registered the expected shower of new particles. Early data trickled in, showing fascinating, albeit familiar, results. The initial sigh of relief was almost palpable. But as the seconds turned into minutes and the initial wave of data subsided, a profound unease began to settle over the control rooms. Something was indeed beyond control, a quiet panic. The immediate aftermath of the collision didn't bring the cataclysm the AI had seemingly warned against, but rather something far more insidious and baffling. The initial data, once analyzed more closely, revealed subtle, yet undeniable, deviations. What many overlooked is that these weren't just statistical blips. Instead of returning to baseline stability, the energy signatures within the detectors began to show erratic fluctuations. These weren't random. They followed a pattern, but a pattern no known physics could explain. It was as if the fabric of reality itself had been gently, yet irrevocably, nudged. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that the very space around the collision point seemed to hold a residual energy, an echo of the event that refused to dissipate normally. Advanced sensors capable of detecting minute gravitational waves or exotic particle traces started reporting anomalies that couldn't be calibrated away. It was subtle at first, almost imperceptible, like a faint hum on a clear night, but it grew steadily. Imagine a perfect mirror and suddenly a hairline crack appears, then another, then another, without any external force. That was the feeling within the control center. The AI, once ignored, now began to update its reports with a chilling new series of projections. Its digital warning shifted from abort to contain. Its predictive models, now running at a fever pitch, showed a widening sphere of influence from the collision point. This wasn't just about a localized phenomenon within the accelerator tunnel, which measures around 12 feet in diameter. The effects, according to the AI, were starting to bleed outward, silently, slowly, but surely. One of the first noticeable effects outside the immediate experimental area was a series of unexplained power fluctuations across a small, localized grid in the region surrounding CERN. Not a blackout, but strange surges and drops, lasting only milliseconds yet enough to trip sensitive equipment. Then came the reports from advanced astrophysical observatories located hundreds of miles away, noting peculiar, faint disturbances in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the leftover heat from the Big Bang. These were disturbances that defied conventional astronomical explanations. To put it mildly, it felt like the universe was subtly retuning itself. Many people are crazy about conspiracy theories surrounding CERN, but this wasn't about a hidden agenda. It was about an unintended consequence, a blind spot in our understanding. The most shocking fact is that the AI's models began to project a connection between the particle collision and these seemingly unrelated events. It was drawing lines between dots that humans hadn't even recognized as dots. It suggested that a minuscule yet fundamental constant of the universe had been altered just by an infinitesimally small amount, but enough to set off a chain reaction across different scales. Data streams from other advanced scientific instruments, from global atomic clocks to ultra-sensitive seismographs, started reflecting tiny yet persistent deviations. Clocks accurate to one part in a quadrillion were showing fractions of a nanosecond drift inconsistently across different locations. Seismographs designed to detect tremors deep within the Earth picked up faint rhythmic vibrations that weren't geological. And you can see this everywhere once you know what to look for, a subtle discord in the symphony of the cosmos. The unbelievable admission within CERN deepened. 
The AI's warning wasn't about an immediate disaster, but a slow, creeping alteration of reality itself. It was as if a tiny, almost invisible tear had been made in the fabric of space-time, and through this tear, subtle energies were leaking, or perhaps familiar energies were subtly shifting their properties. The collision had not just revealed new particles, it had in some way changed the rules of the game. The true nature of the change remained elusive, shrouded in complex data. Beyond the Veil of Perception the subtle shifts initially observed within the confines of CERN and its immediate surroundings began to manifest in stranger, more undeniable ways across the globe. What many overlooked is that these weren't dramatic Hollywood-style alterations. Instead, they were quiet, persistent anomalies that challenged fundamental assumptions about our world. The AI's initial warning about the collision and the subsequent beyond-control outcome was now proving to be a slow-motion unraveling. One of the most perplexing phenomena involved gravity. Instruments designed to measure the Earth's gravitational field with extreme precision, located in shielded underground labs thousands of miles apart, began recording minuscule, non-periodic fluctuations. These weren't caused by tidal forces or seismic activity. It was as if the fundamental pull of gravity itself was momentarily, infinitesimally changing. To put it mildly, this defied centuries of established physics. For example, a tiny object might weigh a fraction of a microgram, more or less, for a split second. An anomaly so small it would typically be dismissed as sensor noise, but now it was occurring with a strange, undeniable rhythm. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that these tiny gravitational jitters correlated with the energy spikes still being observed in the CERN detectors. The connection was tenuous, yet statistically significant enough to send shivers down the spines of researchers. It suggested a profound link between the quantum realm being probed at CERN and the macroscopic reality we inhabit. It was a bridge between the incredibly small and the unimaginably large, built by an event that, according to the AI, should never have happened. Then came the peculiar reports from material science laboratories. Certain exotic compounds, superconductors, and metamaterials began to exhibit slightly altered properties. Their electrical conductivity might fluctuate, or their light-bending capabilities would subtly shift. Not every sample, not every time, but enough to create a new category of unexplained variants in scientific literature. The most shocking fact is that these changes were not uniform. They seemed to respond to an unseen influence, a faint, universal hum that had emerged from the collision. Many people are crazy about the idea of new forms of energy, but this was more fundamental. The AI, tirelessly processing new data streams from across the planet, suggested that the collision had opened a minuscule, almost imperceptible portal or brain tear into a neighboring dimension or perhaps simply altered the fundamental constants of our own reality. This wasn't about visible rifts in space-time, it was about a subtle energetic bleed or a quantum entanglement that was now manifesting in unexpected ways. It was as if the collision had not just created new particles, but new conditions for reality itself. Reports of odd atmospheric phenomena also started trickling in. Not massive, dramatic events, but localized, fleeting anomalies. Patches of air with slightly different refractive indices causing momentary distortions of distant objects, like heat haze but in cold conditions, or brief, unexplainable shifts in localized magnetic fields. These were the kinds of things normally attributed to instrument error or observer bias, but they were now appearing with a frequency and distribution that could no longer be ignored. And you can see this everywhere if you look closely enough, tiny glitches in the matrix of our everyday experience. The unbelievable admission was now a global, unspoken understanding among a select group of scientists. The AI was right. The collision had indeed unleashed forces beyond control, not as a destructive explosion, but as a silent, creeping transformation of the laws that govern our universe. The implications were staggering, pointing to a future where fundamental physics might operate on slightly different principles than we'd always believed. The most shocking fact is that we are likely living in a slightly different universe than we were a decade ago, thanks to that one momentous particle smash. All numbers and letters, not just the large ones, but the tiny, minuscule fractions of a nanosecond of a microgram of a degree, are slowly shifting constantly, subtly. 
Many people are crazy about grand cosmic events, but sometimes the biggest changes begin with the smallest nudges. And you can see this everywhere from the slight oddities in technological performance to the inexplicable nuances in natural phenomena if you pay close enough attention. To put it mildly, this situation forces us to ask profound questions. Did the AI see a future we are now living? Is our universe merely one possibility among infinite others and did CERN perhaps unknowingly nudge us onto a slightly different track? These aren't just academic musings. They touch upon the very nature of existence, free will and our place in the cosmos. What if the universe isn't a fixed, unchanging entity, but a dynamic, fluid system that can be influenced by our most ambitious experiments? The information about the CERN collision, the AI's warning, and the subsequent beyond-control events serves as a stark reminder. It highlights the immense power we wield through our scientific endeavors and the crucial role that artificial intelligence might play, not just as a tool, but as a potential guardian or even a co-architect of our future. We are learning that the lines between prediction, intervention, and consequence are far more blurred than we once imagined. Did humanity truly ignore a digital oracle, or was this change always inevitable? Let us know what you think happened, and remember to like and subscribe for more mind-bending explorations.